coffee. Yeah, you're gonna brew it. You're only gonna drink half a cup anyway. You know caffeine's been bothering oh, you. Okay. Half a cup. Can someone make a ground coffee that tastes this good without caffeine? We did. Brim's richer in Colombian beans than the best-selling coffee in America. Mmm, terrific. Do I have time for another cup? We're taking a whole pot. Pardon me, Nose. Is that a mitten you're wearing? Uh-huh, a nose mitten. Mm. I'm wearing it because I got a bad cold. <laughs> Choo. Well, Nose, if a stuffy head and sinuses are getting you down, try four-way nasal spray. Is it better than a mitten? Much. Four-way's fast-acting formula starts to work in seconds. And Nose? Yes, sir? Four-way gives the fastest decongestant relief possible. Now, how does that feel? Hey, that's a blast. But I do miss my mitten. You'll get over it. This week, TV Guide looks at politics and money with a limited budget in the age of TV campaigning. TV Guide. CIF Basketball, Long Beach versus Lakewood today at noon. Okay, we're back here at the ranch. Uh, my fun-loving friend is here tonight. He will open on January the 30th through February the 2nd at Harris and Lake Tahoe, or Tahoe, <laughs> whatever. Would you welcome Mr. Warmth, Don Rickles. Yeah. There's no room for me. Oh, fine. Wonderful. Now I know what it feels like to be a black. Ain't they gonna give me the buff? Twenty more minutes and then I'm executed. Give me a break, Warden. I'll do my own shtick. I'll be alone. My mother, God bless her, has emphysema. <laughs> let him Did come my back son up send here. the check? Get over, Get over here. No, let me finish my thing now. Okay. I'm I want to try to get a horseshoe. Ah, uh, you people wait in a cab. I don't need this. Come on. Okay. Okay, Don. No, I'm not ready yet. Hey, look at this. There's a dirty movie on. <laughs> Just a joke. Just a joke, darling. Hi, Edie, darling. How are you? God bless you. Thank you. So lovely. Thank you. Steve is married, and I'm married. But both of us want to be together. <laughs> <laughs> We're stuck. <laughs> There's a commercial. I... What? There's a commercial message. We have to do a commercial already? Right. Mr. Rickles just got out here. No, it's fine. You do the commercial, and then we'll comb your hair. <laughs> Guy looks like... Prince Valiant. <laughs> it's McDonald's. Go ahead. Yeah, thank you very much. Good. One of your favorites. When you see Johnny Carson in McDonald's, you'll find Harry Dickman <laughs> eating over in his place in Balboa Beach. Here's a message. Oh, from gosh. <laughs> well, you're done. It really goes a long way. Beef patties, pickles, sauce, lettuce, cheese, cheese, and the pickles. pickles. No. Pickles, cheese, oh. Lettuce and onion, sesame, all seed bun. I think they're describing a big. <laughs> to all beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions, all the sesame seed bun. Say that again. To all beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions, all the sesame seed bun. To all beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, onions, pick pickles, onions, on a little. McDonald's Big Mac, the big sandwich with the great big taste that everybody's talking about. Sesame seed bun, and we forgot the onions. Yes, it did. Yes, it did say onions. Are you sure? It's, it said onions. <laughs> all right. To all beef patty, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions, on a sesame seed bun. McDonald's Big Mac, the great big sandwich with a great big taste. Special sauce, lettuce, pickles, cheese. Hey, that's a Big Mac. You deserve a break today at McDonald's. Where your dollar gets a break every day. Far out. Up in 
Valley of the Jolly Green Giant. Hey, can a little guy see? Sure, Sprout. It's a brand new kind of sweet peas. Gee, they're little too. Introducing Sweetlets, a new brand of peas so special, only the giant has them. Sweetlets peas are smaller than regular sweet peas with a flavor all their own. New Sweetlets peas. They sure are little. Yeah, next to Sweetlets, even I'm a giant. Ho, 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 green giant. Come on and pick a pack. What a happy feeling. Pick a yellow pack. What a happy flavor. Brighten up your day. Cause it's so delicious. Brighten up your day. Chew a juicy fruit. Hey, let's pick a pack of juicy fruit gum. Let's pick a pack from the juicy fruit tree. Cause the flavor's so good. You gotta get some. Just pick a pack and you'll see a pack. What a happy feeling. <laughs> We've returned. We're back. We're back. Groovy, groovy. Uh, I just want to thank you, John, uh, being that Alan has the archives and the tombs with all the funny material. And good luck to you, Alan, on your show. Uh, Alan has the show on ABC, unless there's a storm. But uh, I do want you to know that uh, it is a great treat, Edie, yes. as ever. You sing. You're the best singer in the world. Bless your oh, heart. Thank you're really you. The best in the world. Thank you. I mean it. Ed, you're a good belch. <laughs> but, uh, Ed hangs around Balboa Beach with John Wayne going, let's try it again. <laughs> but, uh, so far, John, you've been a lot of fun in your little, uh, Mary Sue outfit. <laughs> but I, uh, <laughs> it's winter, get rid of the trick-or-treat summer outfits. But uh, I do want you to know I'm on uh, CBS, another network. Uh, I had a shot here, but Dave Tepper didn't come up with the set. Uh, I, uh, I'm going to be on CBS uh, Sunday night with my own show, and Frank Sinatra is on. Uh, Frank asked for you, mm. but unfortunately, you, you were tied up in Newark <laughs> in a garage on a hook. But uh, it's exciting. Uh, Frank Sinatra, John yes. Wayne, we asked you to be on, but... You have, I must say, you've I would have been, I would have been on yes, the show. Yes, you, you've helped my career tremendously. You've been on a few times and I have failed. And I figure, why push my luck? <laughs> but, uh, no, you've been a doll. You really have. I, I say a doll because you know your problem. And so, uh... <laughs> No, that's a joke. That's a joke. After the show, can you see Johnny going home? That guy's ridiculous. <laughs> but, uh... I'm not doing Listen, uh, uh, but we have Frank Sinatra. Is this a special or is this the beginning of a new no, series? No, 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 it's, it's a Hanukkah play. Ah, I see. Uh, a Hanukkah, for those of you from the Gentile world, that's our Christmas, only we don't make a big thing out of it. Uh, we have a small tree in the house, no carols. We just stand around going, we're having a party. We're having a party. <laughs> but I must say, don't make it a rally. Don't make it a rally. Don, I saw his house at Hanukkah time, and he does have a tree, but he has a tip cut off. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, God bless you, Edie. You know me so well. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Edie and I, we never fooled around together, did we? <laughs> Let me see. Oh, anyway. Uh, no, we're happily married. She's happily married, I'm happily married, you're happily married. That's right. Right? <laughs> May we both go paralyzed if we lie. <laughs> No, he's happily married. His wife's home now going, I'm tired of dusting. <laughs> but listen, I, I must say, uh, nah, 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 all right, all right, all right, listen. I must get your drums and do your Buddy Rich number again. Now, listen, uh, on CBS, yes, Sunday yes, night, mention that. Paul Keith, I'll mention it again. Oh, okay. Why, do you think I'm on this? Because it's a treat for me? I mean, uh, who's up at 11.30 at night? One wino in Kansas. He's on, Alice! <laughs> Been on. 12 right. years, how? Who, who can figure it? You came out from a uh, uh, hit the buzzer, win a prize, went two weeks in Africa with Freddie the Cabot the Cabot on a Zulu party. Who, who knew this? The whole band's going, he's right, man, he's right, man. <laughs> Hi, guys, I'm going to Mexico on vacation with Bob Newhart. We'll get the package in by Friday. <laughs> Look at this, the whole band went, they're going to be a party. Now, we're going down to Mexico, whatever. but we'll get into that in a minute. Oh, I see. Good. Because you've been a great interviewer so far. Mm -hmm. uh, I've never worked.
work with a mute. <laughs> Well, you see, Johnny Carson started me in late night television. He did. He, Flip Wilson, yours truly. A lot of guys are a lot of guys are just dropping your name around now, and we're yeah. both the, the same age. You're, you got me about six months, and but mm. you were successful as well as Alan was in Leon and Eddie's. He was a star when he was eleven. Edie was in the El Rancho Vegas when Stevie was in the Army. Well, he was in the Army, <laughs> sitting around the pool room with four dicks going, "I'm a Boy Scout. <laughs> I'm a Boy Scout." But ah. Uh, I was in, I was in the real, you were in the Navy. That's right. You were an ensign. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. Can I kiss your? <laughs> now, uh, you were, uh, you were, oh, don't go, ho, ho, ho. You were in the one, one, one truck driver in the back going, you hear that, Harry? <laughs> I hope you oil your brakes and you skid. <laughs> but <laughs> jump in and you know, think about it. Oh, I don't want to, you know, break this rule. No, but I just got to tell you. Frank Sinatra was on the show, and I, that's that's exciting to me. It's exciting to you too, because he's a guy's guy to you too, Alan. Alan, you up? What? Uh, Alan's just sitting there going, "Is that my cologne?" <laughs> but I. Uh... <laughs> I gotta tell you, Joe Scandal. How did you manage to get Frank Sinatra on the show? Huh? I'll go very slow. How did you manage to get Frank Sinatra on the show? We threatened him with your gun, Ollie. <laughs> No, Frank Sinatra came on the show because I walked over to him one night and I said, could you play me, uh, Rocky, the theme, the theme. No, 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 the theme from the Italian. I don't want to give a whole hint. Why don't you get on Name the Tomb? <laughs> the reason I got Frank Sinatra on, I will tell you. Mm -hmm. I come to you. Were you playing dumbbell? <laughs> so worried about his toop, he can't play. <laughs> Forget about it, Rocky. It looks good. Just play. <laughs> I come to you, Johnny, as a friend. I asked Frank Sinatra as a Frank. Buonasera, Bonanna Vanini. Is that dirty? <laughs> I said to my brother Tomasino in Carmine, I said, El Capo from Fatso Nano. Fatso Manano, Manano Gumano. <laughs> Frank Sinatra to Tatsi Namami. You are not Italian, are you, Johnny? Hmm? You're dead. <laughs> Very, Very good. good. Oh, that's very good. Could you do Mr. Kitzel? No. <laughs> Later on, we're going to put a cord on your tuckers and have a puppet show. We're going to take a short break here. Stop pointing and, and in the arm. And we're going to be right, right back. Why? Why? Yes. Save almost $30 on this Eureka cleaner and six-piece tool set. Normally, you'd pay $69.95 for the cleaner, plus $19.95 for the tools. Total price, $89.90. But Eureka is slashing that price almost $30 to only $59.95. The Eureka cleaner with dial and that for shags and other fine carpeting, plus six-piece tool set, $59.95 total while they last. Save almost $30. See your participating Eureka dealer now. We're alikeable. We look alike. We smell alike. We taste alike. We're, We're so, so alikeable. Just take a sip of us and you'll agree. We're alikeable. We're so alikeable. Ground roast. Taster's choice. And taster's choice decaffeinated. We're so alikeable. I'm not easy to please. I've always been tough to cook for, especially when it's soup. Give me a soup I can eat without crackers. Noodles with character, a green bean worthy of the name. Give me a freshly simmered soup that smells as good as it tastes. Lipton Italian vegetable. It's a soup after my own heart. Lipton soup. It always smells fresh and tastes good because it's never been soup before. This is the Good Housekeeping Seal, granted only when a product meets very demanding requirements. The tannery has earned the Good Housekeeping Seal. 
See how the tannery brings you a totally new and easy way to clean, condition, and protect all your fine leather and vinyl possessions. Easy to use, just spray it on and wipe dirt off. Nourishing conditioners restore supple softness, luster, and it's safe for any color. No other product can do all this. The tannery is at your store in the furniture polish section. Monty Rock III is here tonight. Uh, uh, sir, uh, Sir Monty Rock. Uh, would you believe he has a hit record? Who? Monty Rock has a hit record called Get Dancing. <laughs> and he's in Madison Square Garden, uh, January 26th. Uh, that'll boggle your mind, doesn't it? With the spinners. <laughs> That's right. And he, he opens the Coliseum in Cherry Hill, or he opens Cherry Hill at the Coliseum. One of, the, one of those. Uh, the New Jersey Giant. Would you welcome Sir Monty Rock III? I've been away from you a long time. I never thought I'd miss you so. Somehow I feel your love was real. Near you, I long to be. The birds are singing, it's a song time. The banjo strumming, soft and low. Somehow I feel your love was real. Near you, I long to be. Oh, Swanee, how I love you, how I love you, my dear old Swanee. No man be waiting for me down by the Swanee. The folks of North will see me no more when I get to that Swanee. Hi. Huh. I still got a hit. Yeah, that's Monty. That's D I X I E. Yeah. No, the reason I do that, my, that's my mother's favorite song, and she's working tonight. Ah. And and uh, and I can't do it. the get dancing. I can't do it because the sex or let you know. I'm dis I'm disco text now. That's the hit record you have. It's called get, it sold two million copies, and my mother keeps counting on radio, because you get a penny or something, and I haven't got a penny yet. No. Uh, you didn't do it under your own name, then? No, I'm Disco Tex and Sex for Let's Illuminating, so Monty Rock the Third. It's a show, you know? Yeah. And this, I don't know why it's doing good. I'm confused. Yeah. But uh, I'm making money, and I did Swanee because I don't know why I did Swanee. I don't know how to sing, you know? I'll never be a singer or an actor. You keep booking me, and people keep saying, why do you book them? No, but I'm, I'm working. You got a point there. <laughs> I really, right? I mean, if I ever became good, my career would be over. <laughs> well, at least you got a fresh, honest approach. I got you, voted. Man. I went to a dinner. I got voted by Cashbox as a new male star of the year. And I cried. I said, why pick me? I mean, I was confused. And they said, because you've been around that long. I mean, if you hang in there long enough, they'll vote. If you hang in there long enough, you might not make it, but a record world reaches a whole different public. And yeah. I can't believe I'm playing Madison Square Garden. I, I'm rehearsing every day. I got my sexual and my, I got a beautiful band. And the guy who's writing the show, Bob Crew, who's writing the show, my manager has had, I don't drink anymore. Uh -huh. you know, did, did you drink you? any less? I used to drink at one time. I had a drink. Did you really? He drank yeah. one day. Oh, I drank. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but let me see what happened. Drink? Gee, we didn't well, I wasn't, I, I only That's drank. sin, father. <laughs> No, but what happened is I found out that I used to forget, I forget my lines. When you do a regular show and a book show. Yeah. So, and with all that jewelry, when you drink, you rust. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but I also got a, uh, I got a real man. I signed really, I'm signed legally now. Yes. Yeah, I, and I've never been signed before. What do you mean signed? Well, you know, somebody puts some money into your clothing and they dress you and everything. And they tell you how to eat, and drink, and all that stuff. What do you want? You got married. Huh? You got married. You <laughs> no, I'm not married. Oh. No. Man. No. Man. No. No. Listen. No. The thing is Pass that. The uh, is no. The first time. A manager. Yeah. A manager. No. Man no. My manager, Sandy Orell, who who really put it together. But Sandy who? Sandy Orell. Who's Sandy Orell. Like, he's like a manager for rock and roll. Rock and roll stars. No. But but 
The whole thing is that he... Cindy Rose. Cindy Rose. Did he tell you to do your hair Cindy different? Rose. No. The hair is different because I wear hats in the show, and I sweat a lot. I have a problem when I dance. I sweat, so... Uh, he sweats, he sweats. I sweat, sweat. <laughs> so the, the hair is lighter because it, it, it looks better when it kinks up. It looks like a cherub. <laughs> it looks like a cherub. <laughs> we got a problem. <laughs> I think I'm going nowhere tonight for some reason. No, uh, you're oh. beautiful, Mike. No, really, I, I weren't you a beautician at one time when we first met? Yes. I was. <laughs> was no, a, that's no joke. He was, was a hairdresser. I was one of the world's best hairdressers, but yeah. I had a problem. Yeah. What? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you remember, Mr. Phillips? <laughs> no, forget I get that problem. I was, Mr. Forget I was a hairdresser, but right. That's the, when the, Johnny the, the first home. put you on the show. Yeah, you put me in the show. Johnny, you remember that, Johnny? Yes. yes. Somebody pull the cord so Johnny can. <laughs> And what happened was that the hot rollers came in, the hot rollers came in, and Tony Permanent came in, but now I'm going to have my own shop again. Who cares? You know, I, mean, I show business is better. His own shop again. Yeah. His own shop again. Okay, we'll take a short break. We'll sort this out, and we'll be right back. After yeah. I want to thank you, really. Yeah, well, you're welcome. welcome. Thank you, man. You're always fun to have here. Edie, thank you for thank coming you. tonight. Thank you. We'll see you at Caesar's Palace. Right, and don't February. make it another four years, okay? I hope not. Don, you can... Sunday night, Sunday I night. hope you'll see us at 7.30. We with Sinatra, Duke Wayne, Paul Keyes, Joe Scandori, an entire ensemble, and Bob Newhart, my friend, and C, my good friend, Alan King special, which I'll be on the following Friday. Yes, well, we're it's a long story. Martin, Freddie Prince, and Jimmy Walker. Well, Tony it, Fields don't, don't, Jimmy don't. Jimmy. Forget the prayers. And of course, you'll see Ed at the brewery saying to the wonderful Appaloosas, move it! <laughs> That's Clydesdales. Well, who cares? Who cares? They're all in heat. Right. <laughs> Uh, Monday night, uh, I, I ain't even gonna be around here. John Davidson will uh, be, be stuck. I mean, we'll be, we'll be. <laughs> His guests will be Dick Smothers, Nancy Wilson, Norm Crosby, and the amazing. Wow! Preskin. Wow! <laughs> Thank you, have a nice weekend. Stay tuned for Midnight Special, next on NBC. And that was Broke My Heart in Two by the Two Tones. This is Darby at Dawn here at Station 222. Back after this word. Darby, what words do you have for Listerine antiseptic? Two times. Two times what? Two times longer. See, Listerine kills the germs. It can cause bad breath. Gives you clean breath. It lasts two times longer than the leading sweet-tasting mouthwash. How many times longer than this? Two. Two, two, two. This is Darby at Dawn. For clean breath that lasts two times longer. Listerine. Hi. Hi. Oh, off on vacation, huh? Already? Oh. Honey, before we go, let's have another cup of this great coffee. Mrs. Olsen, I can't believe you said that. See, Folgers Special Blend does make a difference. It sure does. Mmm, smells great. Yeah, and Folgers is mountain grown. That's the richest kind of coffee. Tastes delicious. Uh, don't forget to pack the coffee. <laughs> Taste Folgers. Mountain grown coffee. Levitt's big pre-inventory sale. Hundreds of famous brand furniture items on sale now. Don't miss your chance to really save. You love it at Levitt's. Bob Eubanks is host on Diamond Head from Hawaii tonight at 7.